For me, uh, you know, my journey started as a, you know, working at, at, as a banker, mm -hmm. you know, almost got foreclosed on, uh, you know, because I jumped out, became an entrepreneur. And then during that time, you know, almost got repoed and things of that nature. But I know that there's somebody listening right now mm -hmm. uh, that may be going through a foreclosure, who may be going through repossession, who may be going through some things and they're stressing themselves out because yeah. of their credit. Um, and, and, and if you didn't catch what, what, what Derek just said, is that you know you have to understand the law how credit yeah. works right and yeah. so in his particular case you know he was able to get the repossession off because right he never signed the contract with the people who were reporting to his credit right right he never signed a contract with them right and so now they're reporting a repossession and it's not true. Yeah. And so the law says, right, so the onus is on the people who put the stuff on your credit report, mm -hmm. right? And so the law says that if the, it, it, you know, if you uh, don't have a contract with them or if, it, if there's any errors on your report that they has to come off, and that's how you got, got it off, right? Yep. Then he gave us another bar. So if y'all watched our <laughs> Matty J episode where Matty J was talking about, you know, how he built uh, a business using, you know, you know, car sharing and ride sharing, uh, he gave us another bar. And so... I want to. I want so 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 now you have a situation, right, where mm -hmm. um, foreclosure, repossession. Because of that, you start, um, you know, doing your due diligence right. and reading and learning. Um, and then, how did that, right? How did that 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 um, down period of losing losing it all, um, gaining it back, but then service? Because you talked about service earlier. Yeah. Yeah, um, but... How did service create this conglomerate? Right well, of, of of credit repair. Well, because you realize at that point, man, if I ain't know this, how many more people did? Mm. So I started using credit to build wealth, and I started um, realizing that, man, I I was always a builder, mm. but I was always a servant. Yes. So I had to when, once people started hitting me up and say, man, I needed help, I needed help, I needed help, man, I got too many clients. Mm. And so I was like, man, I got to start systematizing this stuff mm -hmm. and, and, and putting it in place. So we built out this company called Point Boosters. And before you know it, man, it just started making money, started making money. Mm -hmm. And then I had to start hiring people mm -hmm. and things like that. So I took my situation mm -hmm. and then instead of like letting it beat me up, mm -hmm. I used it, created a solution, told people about the solution, packaged it up and then offered the solution to people to be able to serve them. Mm -hmm so that they can start building wealth as well. Mm -hmm. And then I realized the more that I start giving people, man, the more things start happening for me, mm -hmm. right? And so I'm like, man, so at that point, I wasn't chasing the money, yeah. but the money was coming so fast and it was coming so quick. Then I realized, man, I'm in trouble. Mm -hmm. I gotta go ahead and start putting a system together, mm -hmm. putting teams together. Mm -hmm. And then I went and hired a bunch of people cause man, coming from where we, where we from, like you say, you from Harlem. Yeah. When you get on yeah. and when you feel like, man, you know, like you're in the struggle so much mm -hmm. and you get on, now I gotta show the world that it's popping. But I did it too early though. Mm -hmm. I started hiring, I hired like 27 people. Mm -hmm. My payroll was 34,000 a week, mm. but my deposits was 32. Wow. So I had to start replacing people, man, with systems. And that's where that whole body concept, the build, the organize, document, delegate. Mm. And I did that, man. Within 30 days later, man, I started having the $40,000 months, the $80,000 months, the $100,000 months, $300,000 mm. months. And, you know, with nine, well, with 10% of the personnel that I had, because I realized that if you put the right system together, you know, you can do anything, man, and that's where the wealth start coming from. Man, and so, and 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 I, I want y'all to understand how important that is, especially for you know whether you have a nine to five, whether you're an entrepreneur. Um, you know, I, I you know I believe that everybody should have multiple streams of income. Um, and you know, one of the biggest things is that people are always trying to do everything, yes. right? They want they want to be be everything, and so you know, and that was one of the impactful things when I heard you speak was like, yo, build, organize it document it, then delegate it. Um, and there was a concept, though, you talked about that I want you to share with, with, with my audience um, around how people start businesses, oh, right? Bro, yeah. A lot of times, <laughs> and, and this is for everybody right now, uh, after you hear this, I need you to change your bio, right? Ch change, change what your bio says, right? A lot of times people start businesses and they say, I'm the CEO. Oh, man, they kill me with that. Talk, talk, talk to us so about that. So the thing that. is, is, man, you got to do a means test before you t say what you are, right? Mm -hmm. So think about this. Always start your business with the mindset of, I got a $10 million business now, because that's what we're trying to get. Yes. So if you had a $10 million business, right, mm -hmm. and you was ready to walk away from it and start another venture, mm -hmm. would you hire yourself to replace you as a CEO of that $10 million business? Mm -hmm. Probably not. Yep. You can't just leave Walmart yesterday, mm -hmm. 
uh, McDonald's yesterday, the bank yesterday, and this and that, and say I'm a CEO. No, that's what the paperwork say, right? Mm -hmm. But the thing is, is how are you going to be a CEO, and then now you're doing everything as a CEO, and you don't even have your bottom built out. Mm -hmm. So now all the people that you're going to hire, you're going to bring them in to replace the culture that you didn't build at the bottom. Wow. Right? Mm -hmm. So when you leave your job and then start there, you got to earn the CEO title, and people don't want to earn it. People want to take the shortcut. Mm -hmm. So now um, what they should have been doing is building at the bottom. Mm -hmm. What's your product? Mm -hmm. I sell this. You're a salesperson, mm -hmm. right? Then um, I make this. Okay, so now you're the processor. You're the person that's doing the thing, right? So therefore, when I talk about body in your business, building out, organize, document, delegate, let's take this hamburger, because mm -hmm. I could cook. That's what they want to buy from me. Right. I'm going to build a process, mm -hmm. all right? Now I got to get the burger. What do I freeze it at? The freezing temperature has to be here. So I'm going to build it out. So I got to get it from here to across the counter, right? Mm -hmm. So now that we know how to do it, it's built out. But then if you bring somebody else in at that point and try to hire them, they don't know the temperature that it needs to be froze at. They don't know how to flip. They don't know how to put it over the counter. So you got to organize it. You got to say, all right, now I know how to make the money. Now I know how to get it from A to Z. I got to organize this because things are all over the place. So now when it comes in, let me organize it step by step by step. But see, a lot of people, they'll build, then they'll organize, then they'll delegate. Mm. And then they'll be like, the person I hired don't know the job. Mm. Why? Because it's not documented. Right. Those are the people with the employees that be like, hey, boss, I need help with this. Hey, boss, hey, I'm stuck, I'm stuck, because mm. it's not documented. Mm -hmm. So that's why I say build it out. Once you organize it, now you know efficiently how to make money A to Z. Mm. The funnels is nothing but an organization. The funnel is organized, mm. like when people are building funnels, right? Yeah. You build it out, then it's organized, mm. and then you document it step by step. Mm -hmm. So I use something called Screencast-O-Matic. You can use Mm -hmm. um, quick time or if you got Mac mm -hmm. and then record your screen mm -hmm. and then get somebody on Fiverr to take those recordings mm -hmm. and actually transcribe it into a doc mm -hmm. Google Docs they'll screenshot every page you go to mm -hmm. step by step process bro that's the documentation mm -hmm. so now when you actually delegate it to somebody mm -hmm. they can read so our concept is if you can read you can lead. Mm. So now think about this. Mm. At the bottom, sales script. I'm putting the sales script together. Mm. I'm recording it. I'm, I'm putting an SOP together. Mm. Now my salesperson knows step by step what screen to go to. Mm. Now I can move over to another job. Mm. Build, organize, document, delegate that. Mm. So when you're delegating it now, you can walk away. Mm. Promote yourself up the supervisor because mm. now you can replace yourself with the sales. Mm. You replace yourself with the fulfillment. Mm. You replace yourself with the marketing. Mm. Now you can supervise that. Mm. Build out a supervisory thing. How do I monitor that, right? Mm organize, document, delegate, and then promote somebody up. Mm -hmm. What I realized that a lot of CEOs don't do that. Mm -hmm. And then they get burnt out, they bring people in. So mm -hmm. if you promote yourself all the way up through your business, mm -hmm. you can always bring somebody else who, uh, who's the highest performer up and promote mm -hmm. them in them spots to walk you out of the business. Mm -hmm. So therefore, you won't ever be in that position where, who do I replace myself with mm -hmm. on this $10 million business mm -hmm. when I walk away from it? Mm -hmm. And that's what I realized once I start putting that in place, the business is built forever because I didn't take a shortcut. My graduates from my school being Forbes. Backdrop. Backdrop. <laughs> a mic drop. Backdrop. Backdrop.